It will be a fun afternoon. Hey guys and welcome to, back to my channel. My name is Cvetani Liev and this is Inspired by Faith channel with a little bit of unusual video this, this time. Since I'm coming back and uh, I decided to celebrate it with one unusual video which I can call special somewhat but um, it will be for something that every video creator and every um, YouTuber needs. So I am upgrading, I am upgrading my computer and I am working toward building a new one. Everything is here and we will build it together. So stay tuned, if you like what you see subscribe to the channel, consider also hitting the bell so you can receive every notification for my future videos. Let's get started. So guys, everything is everything is in here and this is kind of my um, all of the build and um, we have everything that is needed here. Some of you who are a little bit more um, tech savvy, we might say, could see that there is something missing that actually something isn't there, something that will make everything to go on our uh, monitor. So, uh, yes, the GPU is not here, but because it's not a dedicated GPU. This is something that I was waiting for a very long time, and I don't know if you see it, Ryzen 7 Pro 475, 4750, sorry, G which is with integrated graphics card. So I don't need a dedicated one. This processor has it all. So also I decided to go with 32 gigs of RAM because um, I was working with 16 and here you can see that we have um, two actually, two banks two for by 16 gigabytes of RAM and we have our main board we have our PSU and we have our M2 SSD so everything is here so let's get started of course one advice um, as a non-professional who is building his own uh, computer just wear clothes that doesn't get very um, static electric because this could kill the computer um, I think I wear something um, uh, with, uh, with a nice material so um, I won't have any problem but what I have he uh, here is my old hard drive which is my precious because everything is here sermons, music, texts everything I need and if this goes bad well it will be really bad so let's get started we have two screwdrivers X or cross I don't know how it's it's called I have screws probably that I need everything that I need is here so there is a paste for the processor but I won't need any because the cooler has it already applied so let's get started with the unpacking and I know this is a very very unprofessional video I won't be very much on the screen but if you like what you see please consider subscribing and also, since a couple of days, I become Amazon associate, associate, and there will be links for everything that you see here, or something similar. So, where do we start from? I'm used to start from the from the case, from the tower, where we will put everything in. So. 
this, this is going out of the box. If it goes up out of the box. I am trying here, I am trying, I am trying to be nice, but if it's not nice, yeah, I, I suppose that this will happen. So we don't need that box, but it could be useful future for future shows. Easiest way. Well, this is not the safest way, but this is the easiest one. So we have our case, our tower that everything will be put, put in. So I will put it here so you can see it better if you like. So we continue with the main board. So it's prime X570 dash P and it is coming um, ready for our processor. So I think everything is here. We have the main board and it is in anti-static electric plastic bag which I always keep for later because you never you never know when you need it. So this is our main board. The set is coming with everything that you need, with some cables, with back plate with screws for the with screws for the uh, for the case and also with a guide and with a disc with everything that you need and also this one have a coupon for some promotion so this is a good thing i think so We'll have everything put out and I most definitely will use this one so our main board won't be damaged because, because of the table. So we have our main board out, main board out, we have seen the guide and everything that's here, we have our screws so we can go on and Try to install the processor. What I did is that I changed the view so you'll be able to see my hands, what I am doing, but not able to see my face. And I'll most probably sit so I can work comfortably from here. So, what I'm used to do when I build my computer is to install the processor first so um, it could be uh, it could be done very easily so I am going to install the processor and it, it has only one way to go in so we need to find which one is the way to go in so there is very specific Let's see. Let's see how it should be inserted, because if we put it wrong, then we'll have a problem. But this is the way that it could go. You can see that it goes without any any problem. We can push down this lever. It it's go right in the socket, and we are done with the installing the processor. But we are not done with everything connected to the processor because there is the cooler the cooler is stock nothing fancy but we don't need anything fancy and this cooler is so called Wraith AMD Wraith cooler so this is exactly what we need for our 
processor. It has already the paste installed. You can see how the color is different from the other part of the radiator. So I am going to insert this above, to put this above the processor to install it. When I first installed my previous Ryzen 5 3600, I was actually intimidated in the beginning because I didn't know what I, what I was doing. But with this one, I already know how it's done and what, what it needs to be done. So we need to unscrew these screws to take off this plastic because we don't need it. This is something we don't need. It's only to keep the screws in the right position. But you need it, you need them, those plastic if you are putting some um, other, another cooler, another cooler system. So we are taking off the screws, we are taking off the plastic, and we are trying not to damage anything in the process because it's very important. You need to put the processor away, uh, away that it will be connected really easily to the main board for power. So there isn't so much, how to say, philosophy in it. But we still need to be careful not to damage anything. So it's in place we can screw these big screws of, which are very easily to be screwed very easily to be put in and I always do it across I am not doing it um, one, one the, in, uh, in next, the next to it because this way I can feel the pressure how much pressure there is well, I think our cooler is really well put. I will screw a little bit the other ones so they won't be staying in the um, in the air. And everything connected to the processor is done. We are done. And we can see that it's not going anywhere. And we need to find our CPU fan and it's very very easy to be to be found it's in is actually called CPU fan so we are connecting the CPU fan to it connectors done we are ready with the CPU. Yes. So, we can continue further. What do we need next? Yeah, well, we have our our 32 gigs of RAM which we will install right now. I have four DIMMs, so I actually need to go in DIMM 1 and DIMM 2. Yes, and Put my RAM in and we are done with the RAM. Now it comes to the storage. This is a M.2 2020 PCI Express Gen 3 by 4 SSD and it's really not heavy. It's, it's almost like there is nothing in it. But I hope there is something in it <laughs> because if there isn't, we have a very big problem because, well, we need to work with the hard drive, which is only for storage for me. 
Okay. Let's see if it's something there. Oh, yep. It is there. Here it is. A data. 500 gigs of storage of SSD. Nice place to put your finger and to take it out. So no damage to it. And we will use the second socket. Socket 3. We'll put it in. And I really hope that there are some screws with it. No? No screws? Well, funny how I will put my... Well, I have some, but it doesn't need to be like that. I'm really not happy with this. Let's see what this will, will it work. I don't think it will work because it's too big. Let's see if there is something else here. Oh my, oh my. Okay, let's try with this one. Nope. Well, I'm really disappointed. Where are my screws? No screws whatsoever. Well... I really need to fix this because otherwise we'll have a problem. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Okay. See you in a minute. You remember that I already have those, so the problem is with me. I have the screws and I'll put them in because it's exactly what I need. Whoop. Yep, exactly for here. Yes, we have our drive installed, but I don't want to play right now. So, what's the play here? Do I need to put this here? Probably yes. So it isn't that hard, but you need to, to put a little bit of effort in it. So we put a little bit of extension because it is staying a little bit, it's bending. So, well, this is a nice solution because the daily data, the hard drive, whoa, this is already heavy, because the drive is a little bit higher it's when you put it just down 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 the uh, on the bottom it bends so they have a little bit of different screws this one here here this one here so you have a little bit of leverage they thought of this too so everything good for now so we need to What we need to do? Well, we need to put everything in the box, in the case. You can see how the case have this really nice, really, really nice places to unscrew it. And I started with the wrong place, so let's start from this side. So, what we have here, what we have here is that all all 
the needed parts. Well, uh, this is the place. All the cables are here and they are tied and they gave you all the screws that you need here. Here. These are all the screws. I like the way this cable management is done. Well, at least for now. I'll see if I like it, you know, in a minute. But we need to put our mainboard in. So there is the back plate. We will put the black the back plate first. First time when I was building my computer, I never knew what I was um, it was the first time of course and I didn't know what I was doing. And I didn't know that this back plates are just put in like this and they they click. They just click. You don't need to do anything more, you don't need to do anything else. And you just need to put your main board this way that everything will be in the right place. So I think everything's alright and we are above the screws. Everything is here. Everything is at place. And we only need to put our screws in. So I don't know how you'll be able to see it, but I will do my best in operating and I will change the view a little bit. So I think this is the best I can do for you. So there is the magic box, the magic bank actually, the magic bank over here. And we have every screw that we need. And also it has a few more if you need them for some places. And actually with this main board we do need to use them. So we will take, take our main board out very, very carefully not to break anything and we will put this little fellas inside so everything will be okay will be in place and we won't have any problem with the build at all they are exactly three why to do more and because you need only three so we are putting them in they are very easy to be inserted so by hand, actually. Yep. Everything, I think everything is alright. Only one of them is not exactly. I think I, t I took another one. I think I took a different one. And I will show you in exactly in a second what I am doing. I will show you where I put the screws. Come on, please. Yes, this is what I need. So, here are the screws. These, this, and this one here. We need them so the main board will stay in place. It won't move. Well, I am not intending to move it, but accidentally, you know, sometimes you kick your computer. Very carefully, we put it back. And all is said and done. We'll see if everything's in place. Yes, everything's in place. We'll see if there is something that needs to be to be done. Something more. 
No, this is it. We are almost ready. We'll take the screws which are for this kind of work for five, six, seven, eight, nine. So you can see. I am counting something, you, you can see what I am counting, but these are the screws and this is how the umbrella is around it, so these are the right screws. We took, we took our screwdriver and we will start again, cross, cross screwing the screws. I am always doing like that. First one in the corner, then another one in the other corner, but we need a bigger screw, taller. Yes. And one other advice from non professional use magnetic screws. Use magnetic screws so you'll be able not to lose your screws. And it's very important if you are some kind of lover of experiments and you are working under voltage or well I, I don't advise using doing that I advise using uh, working always on unplugged computer well it's it kind of it's obvious but sometimes we are in a hurry and then we destroy our computer which is very bad. And then we have our middle, bottom and uh, top middle screws. We screw them and then only three in the middle. And you are good to go. Everything that you see will be explained again In the section below, and there will be in the description there will be links to every single part that I used or similar one, and there will be some suggestions, some suggestions on um, very good parts that you, you can use if you can if you think this is these are too much. This is our PSU. We will unbox it, but very. It's heavy, and if you drop it on the main board, you will have very, very big problems. The least of one will be your computer not working, but this is not the least, but the, the most, the most, the bigger, the biggest problem. So here is the PSU. It's not modular. It has. A patch of cables, everything you need, at least I think everything I need and you can see that they turn it on this one, this I always work when I work with the computer I always turned, turn it off I don't like to I don't like to work um, with PSU switched on so everything is in here and we are going to install our PSU. It's one of the, some might say that it's one of the easiest installs, but if you screw it, well, it could be very, very painful. This is a very good product. It's Elite 600, Elite 600 version 3. And I say it's good because it comes with the screws that you need to tie it very well to your case. And it's in a good, very good bag, in a Ziploc bag. So, we are going to put our PSU in.
this is the right way to be inserted as you can see I again am using the cross technique I am screwing the screws cross one from the other thus it means that on the second screw you have very well very good hold of everything you're working with so we are done and we need a little bit of working on the on the connection connections and and I will work again on the how it's on the visuals I will work on the cleaning here a little bit. I will take away most of the garbage here. So I'll have a clean place to work with, on, to work on. I still need those screws. I need everything here. And So, when I cleaned here, the place here, I need to connect everything to my PSU. So, I'll untie this band here so I can know what there is for to work with. It's very interesting that this that this mainboard has it very everything well connected here. So, we put this last, we'll need to install everything else in the meantime. I will now put my hard drive, which I said that it's my precious because here is everything, here is all my information from before and I don't want to lose it. And there are special place here, very tiny which is very good, um, done very well designed for such small hard drives. I'll use a couple of screws here. I'll see if they, yeah, they are exactly like this. And I will, I will put my hard drive right here. But what I see is not exactly what is good. Well, let's work with what we have. I will take off these screws here and I'll open the other side of the of the case and the towels. because I need access to this part here I need to put my hard drive here and to put the screws but I don't think they are made to fit I think they are made for the new ones. Let's try it. Let's let's try it. No, 
this was something that we got we didn't need. So we will install our hard drive to in this in this place, which is made specifically for it. Exactly the screw that we need. I'm just tying it the most so it can stay it can stay fast, it can stay fastened, fastened. And what we continue to do is just connecting two cables and everything is done because we don't have to install a GPU, we just need to plug everything in and if we did a good job everything will be working just fine. So we need to connect we need to connect our hard drive to the main board. which we'll do with a SATA cable they provided us with two SATA cables our SATAs are in this part here Hello. what I did in the meantime was that I connected my hard drive I connected it to uh, the main board through a SATA cable I connected it to the PSU through a cable uh, from it and now everything that is left to be done because we don't have, have anything else to put in is just to put the main connectors and to light it up. I will come back to it in a minute. So we are ready to, to connect it. We, don't ha we have uh, our PSU switched off and we have our main connectors right here it's very straight and easy we just need to click it in the socket click done we have another place to put our cables and it's right in here another socket on the main, bo main board which should be really easy let's see if I am wrong with something no, I don't think so.
here. Done. And we need to put only one more here. I want everything to be connected with my main board so I won't have any problem with it. It's for the first time so it's usual to have a little bit here. We are done. So we need only to take every other cable out of the way so it won't be doing any harm to whatever there is. How I am doing this? Through its ties. This is coming up here. A little bit cable management. I was working on this before and I really want everything to be connected well, not to have any problems with it and everything to be away from parts that could break or be broken, that could break anything else or be broken. So what else do we need? We need a little bit of time to connect every other connector that needs to be connected. And this will be done in a, in a second. And this, these are the cables of the case. These are the cables of the case which were these, if you remember correctly, and yes, you do remember correctly, these needs to be put in on the main board, the, they are for every working USB on the, on the uh, case and every other button we need to put it on. What we need to do is to know where to put them. USB, power, it's a, a very good, it is actually a very good main board because it has everything explained on the main board. I will work on it, I will connect them and then I'll come back to you. Thanks! Hi again! I think I'm done and this is um, my, my new build on Ryzen 7 Pro 4750G with integrated graphics card Vega, uh, Radeon Vega. So I'm really hoping to uh, be a really good build and um, this is a 8 core 16 thread um, processor, um, an X570-P of ASUS and I can assure you that you will have everything needed in the description below. I am hoping you enjoy this. Now I'm going to install uh, Windows on it, I'm going to install an OS and um, I'll, I'll finish this video with the computer ready and done. See you in a while. Well, voila! We have a working computer with Windows installed and also I input my activation code to the Windows so everything is alright. Let's open the system and see what is actually there. So, here it is, Ryzen 7 Pro 4750G with Radeon graphics, 32 gigs of RAM, 64 uh, bit operating system, 
<coughs> and it looks like everything works just fine. I really hope you enjoyed the video and if you did just consider subscribing hit the notification uh, button and the bell uh, also to all the notifications so you can see my next videos as I mentioned before all the links uh, will be there in the description if you need any pod if you like and you want you are inspired to uh, build your own PC because it's not so difficult as it's it, it looks like but it needs a little bit of um, working carefully you will be, you will be able to find links to uh, the exact parts that I used and also to uh, substitutes or, or even better if you like see ya thank you for watching and see you in the next video this was inspired by fate channel and my name is Svetani Liev bye bye